Hi everyone. Welcome back to Lana's Little Things with me, Dr. Lana, specialist, gerontologist, talking all things on living agelessly, caregiving, you know how that goes, and bridging generational gaps. So important. Today, I'm going to show you my toes. And we're going to talk about, not my toes, but we're going to talk about foot care. We're also going to talk about grounding and what that all means. I had a fantastic workshop over the weekend. And it was all about health and diet and, and the way, way we eat. Older persons require certain changes in diet, as you would know. You need more protein. You definitely need more hydration. Caregivers, you need to eat. You need to drink <laughs> water. You need to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Like, just, just remember, your oxygen mask on first. Make sure to involve the grandchildren in everything so that they can see that this is a process and not just something that just mommy or daddy does or and that there's something wrong with getting older. Believe me, older persons and younger children, they swimmingly get along. So let's keep bridging those gaps. So here I am, and I hope you can, like, I'm going to flip the camera. Good morning, good evening, good night. It's getting dark where we are in Barbados. So I'm going to turn, well, I guess you can see my toes. These are my toes. Right, so they're my toes. Well, they're in the grass, anyway. And not the nail polish so much as what I'm walking on. So I'm walking on my grass, and I, you know, take care of not only my feet, but my body. And why is that so important? Well, it's important because... Foot care for older persons, as you get older, your tendons, bones, ligaments, they will become stiffer and harder and they're less elastic. They're less, they've got not much of a fat pad. You lose chubby feet that babies have and children. That gets lost or less as you get older. In caregiving, you have a lot of walking to do. You've got a lot of pressure on your feet. If you're an entrepreneur, you've got to be on your feet. Or if you're sitting for a long time, which is even worse, you will you can have problems with your feet as well, with circulation. So it's all about making sure that your feet are taken care of. We can do face, we do our hands, you know, you make sure that the upper body is taken care of. But what do you walk on? <laughs> your feet. They need to be taken care of. That's one. But grounding. All this grass, all this... Or sand, if you can get by the beach where you are, is so important. And why is that important? Because it actually connects us with the rest of nature that just feels, for lack of a better word, natural. It actually feels good. You're not supposed to be in synthetic and fabric and cased down in socks and shoes all the time. You really, as long as it's safe, you make sure you're walking in a safe spot that you're, and you've checked with your doctor to be sure. Find a time where you can walk on a natural outdoor surface. It relaxes you. Science does show that it grounds you. It actually really settles your mind, relieves anxiety, relieves stress. And you know what? It also feels pretty good. And it's just rained here. <laughs> yes, again. It's a very wet October, November. But walking in the wet grass, walking on sand, is actually like a natural massage for your feet. So anytime you can get that done, make sure you do it. It's care of your feet. They're here for your life. Take care of them. Caregivers, make sure. Take care of yourself. Older persons, be sure. Remember the changes that come with age. It's a process. It's not a disease. From my heart to yours, it gets darker and nicer. Dr. Lana signing out until tomorrow. Take care of your feet and ground and release. Bye-bye.